All right, nobody moves this block. Okay, the cinder block and this wood. Nobody moves this under any circumstances. Do you guys even know what's under, what's in this crate? Why are you raising your hand? Um, that was me trying to be, just trying to be considerate of you. Oh, okay. This was just an attempt. Well, I'm not sure if, if I am appreciative of that or if it's making me feel odd. So let's just put the verdict on whether that works uh, up in the air. You, know, it's, you don't have to raise your hand a second time. I, mean, I just, well, uh, I just want to say, I'm sorry, I interrupted I just, uh, this is kind of a whole, uh, just a new process. I grew up, the only kind of friend I had was it was an AI. I did build it from an Atari, so, and then I had, did had, I had to kill that AI. It was very hard on both of us, more hard on him because he did die. Um, yeah. RIP. Centurio. That's the name. I just I wanted him to feel exotic. So what? <laughs> you are a dark little child. Just a darkling. I, I see saltines that I get jealous. I'm really not that dark. So what the? See what I'm saying? Fuck this All what right. What are you asking me for? Before Shut this up. gets any weirder, whisper. What was your question? Oh, yeah, uh, what's the grip? Oh, it's a, a haunted samurai head that Max and I got during a very epic car chase. You mean the one where you killed all those people? Unconfirmed. Unconfirmed kills. Well, I mean, that last one was pretty confirmed. I mean, right to the forehead and... So, wait, we can kill people now? No! no. <clears throat> we cannot kill people, okay? It's literally a chosen girl's job to protect people, not kill them. You mean, oh. kind of like that car full of people that you killed just to get this flying head? So, Okay, these... they definitely tried to kill us first, right? I mean, I feel like, morally, sense. I should be allowed to defend myself. It was self-defense. Yeah, and they were wearing masks, like, Mil militaristic masks, so uh, that automatically makes it okay. I mean, it's like they were like stormtroopers. Or Cylons. Which are basically stormtroopers. No, they're Cylons, Max. <laughs> Jimmy, we're not gonna get into this, but, but I will admit that Battlestar Galactica never would have made it anywhere it was if it didn't benefit off the franchise of, of Star Wars. Cylons are like the poor version of stormtroopers. Well, they're, they're no, they're chrome, and they're called Cylons. Yeah. <laughs> so, so basically, you're going to tell me that Starbuck isn't a ripoff of Han Solo? Don't you do that to me? Don't you dare ruin this for me? We've talked about this, Max. We've talked about this. You've taken. The best parts of my childhood, you are not taking Starbuck from me. No. No. I didn't take Starbuck from it. It's the only thing I understood was Star Wars. It doesn't make sense. I mean, think about it. Look, 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 look. I'm about to squash this right now for both of you two nerds, all right? Shh. Everybody knows that Buck Rogers was the ultimate spinoff of Star Wars, man. It was what? just, look, 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 Twiggy, okay, Twiggy, the little unisex robot, that was the best robotic sidekick ever. Everybody knows that. Have you not heard of R2-D2? <laughs> Twiggy was like a robotic penis looking thing. <laughs> you, you can't deny that. <laughs> but we still hang around you too, right? Look guys, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, nothing compares to a Daggett. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> what? Are you out of your mind? No, a Daggett. A Daggett is a dollar store Ewok, man. A dime store Ewok. What the hell is dollar a Daggett? Store. I should have said a dollar store Stormtrooper. That Like Barf. Remember Barf? That's a Daggett, dude. Okay, we can all agree right now that Star Wars 
obviously, is better than anything else. But that doesn't mean that people can't take inspiration from Star Wars and make their own stuff. So can we please put an end to this convo and, you know, take, take it off of the tracks it's on right now and put it back on the train tracks we were originally on? Choo choo! You really gotta stop doing that. So, if I want to force choke someone and I say that it's self-defense, that's okay, right? No, it has to actually be self-defense. So what is you saying, huh? What is you saying? You got you. you what what are you saying? I, Just come I, out and say it. Listen, man, you lucky. You lucky. Know, he holds me back. He you look. You lucky. He holds me back right now. You lucky. I don't see it. You lucky. Okay? I'll do it right Look, now. Don't cross this I'll line. You lucky he hold me back right now. I wouldn't test her. He hold me back. He would. You yeah. see it. You 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 see him hold me back right now. Because he don't want me to hurt you. I don't see it. He, you don't, he don't want me to hurt his little niece. You see it. I'm getting upset. Then stop trying to hold me back and let me at it. Toilet paper stealer. That's what I thought. You see, you're lucky, a family. I saw you steal the book. I ain't steal nothing. You had it coming. Your family is, is protecting you. So I'll let you have it right now. Force choke me. High five, whatever. Get your daughter, man. Get your daughter. Stupid line, David McElroy. Dark child, get her. Can't you see it? Get your sister. No, it's me. Is it okay then to force choke someone? KJ would be dead like by now. Like you could have killed him just now if you did that every time you felt attacked by somebody. That is a very good point. Self control. You are very sensitive. Okay, moving forward with the conversation. I just need to keep this guy in the crate, the badly constructed crate, until I can build him a proper display case. It does have holes. What? Well, why does it have to be in the crate? Uh, well, because legends say that it can fly. I mean, it doesn't look like much, but honestly, it's pretty cool. That thing is alive. I mean, if you put your head right next to it, you can hear it talk and breathe. Oh. You put your head next to a head. <laughs> All right, somebody, somebody should come up here and try it themselves. <laughs> Cause it's cool. Somebody better, like somebody, come try it. Man, what the hell, man? He just pushed me. I didn't see. Nobody saw that. Oh, nobody seen him push me. You're just jumpy. I'm not jumpy. You pushed so me. So talking about a floating head, and you get all jumpy. Man, floating head, my ass, man. That head don't float. You know, I saw it. I saw it. You it seen me push exactly me? Exactly like this. That's Great. exactly how put it looks. Two looked. volunteers right here, guys. All right. So put your head really? right down right next up. to the crate. Why would we want to put our heads down so you can to the hear head? it talk? Are you it afraid? Talks to what you. Is it Are you afraid? Say? I don't know. Maybe you could talk to it, give a little prompt. Prompt for what? Huh? I don't know to talk to you. Just listen. listen. Ask me a question. What is it saying? It's fun. It's mumbling something. I hear it mumbling. Or it says, says KJ's got a stupid face. A what? Stupid face. Stupid face. That's what it said. Man, I'm beautiful. What are you talking about? My I, face I'm is not stupid. I, it's the it, one that said it. it I'm not saying that. Say that. I didn't say that. Okay, face. Like so anyways, guys, busy day, very busy day. KJ um, is beautiful. So okay? these are all I'm of the files that I have you heard it on no, where it Jesse say, could be in Arizona. You have a small you. way. Up for you. It didn't I mean, say anything yeah, about it. Yeah. And um, it that's everything that's compiled about where what we know about his location. I mean, we're all hoping that he's Jesse, that Jesse are doing drugs. But he has family, so we should go find him, you know. I'm not. I'm not. When I find him. I'm telling you. 
what it said. I think I'm gonna you finally tell him. For it being politically correct. Politically well, correct. Well, he's stupid. I'm just saying. You know, and I have like a thought lot about it. You know. Oh, oh, oh. Look smart. about how you feel? I didn't say. Tell about how you feel. I think you should definitely do that. I think you should run in there right now and go write a big, huge note just with all your feelings in it, and you know, it should take at least an hour to write because your feelings, feelings that come from the heart. They really take a long time to so find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna use that. I think it's time for that. So I'm listening to the talking head. Yeah. Go, go do it. Listening to something. Yeah. Take a long time to write it. Okay? I'm fine. Are you, you get, okay? You get very emotional. It's gonna be good. Because you're talking about my looks, man. I'm, I'm not talking about your looks. It's the head talking about the your looks. The head doesn't have a fucking body. Still on But it's still. Man, you know something? I'm done talking head with you, man. I'm done with this head, can I? I'm done with it. Done with this head. Jeez, I'm about, I got better things to do, man. I got Xbox to play. You know, I got the new X. Yeah, Peach hey, out. Okay, so I know that you hate field work, right? Oh, yeah. So I kind of need you go out and get power outlets because you blew all of the ones in the computer room with your Barbara Gordon setup. Mm -hmm. uh, and while you're out, we need groceries. So groceries. I just figured, you know, if you don't want to fight monsters, you can help fight hunger. So Good. there's a list. First of all, my name is not Benson, okay? Second of all, Benson? Who drinks soy milk? I don't drink soy milk. I drink I the blue cap, the two percent. Lactose intolerant. I don't even like milk. I don't like milk. Unless it's, unless it's chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. Oh, so is that supposed to be another joke? No. Huh? I, no, I like chocolate milk. You like chocolate milk? It's gross without the chocolate, okay? Nobody likes just regular milk. Spawn of Satan. Listen, I'm Spawn just saying, it's not, it's not a metaphor. I'm just I saying. I bet it, it is. It's not. It's, I just want the chocolate milk. I bet you do. Are you going to get it or no? No. What? Leave my chocolate milk alone. Leave it. I'm out of here. That better be a joke. I'm not sure. Okay. But I have a task for you too. Right. So there's a case that I want you to research in the next town over. And it's a little bit of a drive, but it sounds like it could be promising. Somebody said they saw a melon head. No. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll go. I'll go inside and grab my gun. Oh well, it's. I already put in the glove box for you, so you don't have to. Really? That's <laughs> awfully nice of you. I do need to go get my keys, though. Right here. Got them. Oh, she got them. I got them for you. Wow. Let me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. Oh. So um, I got. I, I will go ahead and get going and. Uh, Take care of that. Take care of that. Find, find that melon head. Bye. What's that? Um, I don't know. Okay. Whisper, I need you. Yeah. I got a task for you too. I need you to ride your bike all I the way love down. My bike. I know you love your bike, right? Yes. So I need you to ride it all the way down to that river and make sure that it's not being poisoned anymore. Do some okay. tests on it. I'm gonna need my book bag. Yeah, I got it right here. I was prepared. Was Filled with a lot of stuff. Did you get my water? It's very heavy, yeah. It's I get a lot really of water. thirsty when I wet my bike. I know, you always In have general, like five water I really bottles. love water. I'm gonna need my um, Aqua Tetrum. I didn't yep. grab that. I, I put it right in there. She's in there, you can just go yes. on along now. I, well, no you didn't because you're busted, okay? No you did not put it in here because I didn't invent it yet. You just trying to give us some stupid bullcrap work to do while you gotta talk to Gloria, okay? You might be able to trick everyone else's little primitive man, man brains, but it's not gonna work with me, huh? That, that's, that's, that's true. That is You're, true. It's a hundred percent true. I can't think of an excuse. How did you know that? I read your daily planner every night while you're asleep. That is not Why weird. Why do you do that? I need to know what's going on, okay? I'm not supposed to know my, what's going on with the schedule if I don't know what you're doing. I, it's not weird, okay? I just have to know what's happening. You don't always tell us anything if this is, if this is not an example enough. I'm just saying. All right, look, I just need like an hour, okay? Like an hour alone. I'm not, I mean, okay, look, I'm not saying I have problems, okay? You two have fun. You two, it's, it's not bad, it's okay. It's, that's fine. You do whatever you need to do. 
I'm okay with that, and I'm gonna go do not what you told me to do because that sounds really boring, but I'm gonna do something actually fun. Maybe Infinity War for the 10th time. They do say that the 10th time is the best. Just don't talk to me about it for the 10th time. Okay, now make that promise. Okay, I'm gonna go. I do support it, by the way, too. Little thing you two got going on. We're not getting together. There's nothing to support. <laughs> of course. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go get some food. Paco, I mean, I just need like an hour alone, obviously. Not not with you watching me, so if you could just watch the head for maybe like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I don't know, you know, just be safe. Uh, you know, because I don't want to make sure it doesn't like pop up. Knock that block over. It's a pretty heavy block. I don't know how forceful that thing is. It's fine. Just breathe. I mean, it's not a big deal. This isn't going to be a big deal, okay? Just take a deep breath. We're fine. Uh, this is gonna be fine. Just be cool. Just be normal. I mean, three years is nothing, right? I mean, in the span of a lifetime, three years is practically nothing, right? It's like a blink of an eye. Right. It's nothing. It's cool. Everything's still the same, except it's not the same because we're not dating anymore. So it is not the same, but it is the same. I mean, I, I haven't changed. Well, I have changed, but I'm still Constance. And Gloria is <sighs> annoyingly, definitely still Gloria. So, <sighs> okay. Just gotta remember that at some point she's gonna be annoying and she's going to try to give you the Gloria, I'm Gloria, I'm so innocent eyes that she does. You just have to remember that you hate her. We hate her, we hate her, we hate her. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. Definitely need a better plan than that. Um, fuck. Leslie, Leslie Fuckbucket. Yes, okay, just picture Gloria's face macking on Leslie Fuckbucket every single, to, for, just for the whole convo. That'll work. That'll definitely work. That'll keep you mad at her the whole time. <sighs> Shit. Okay. <sighs> Leslie Fuckbucket, Leslie Fuckbucket, Leslie Fuckbucket. <laughs> so uh this is a picture of the shark that ate my apartment. Look at it. This. That's him. Right there. <sighs> Look at those teeth. Look. Look at those teeth. It's crazy. There's nothing but cold, hard death in those teeth. And, and those little black dead doll eyes. <sighs> it's just... <sighs> Imagine seeing that coming for you. At your apartment, at your front door, for you. You lived under a pier. It was a pier. You say pier, I say apartment. And uh, this guy right here, we'll call him Ted. Ted ate the ever-living shit out of my appearment. That is a picture of Jaws from the movie. No, that is Ted. I wrestled this guy for like what seemed like hours, but it was only moments, of course, because when a shark strike happens, it's 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 brutally fast. Look, no doubt about it, Ted is 
a ruthless, bloodthirsty killing machine. You know, much like this Jaws that you speak of, but uh, I bet the other sharks respect him. You know? Ted is a motherfucking king of the ocean. <laughs> Gloria, we watch Jaws together, okay? I know that you know that you're ripping off Spielberg right now. Besides, that's not even a good picture. What's wrong with the Keller? Huh? There's nothing wrong with the color. The color's perfectly fine. Maybe there's something wrong with the camera. Hmm. Yeah, wow, look at that. It's all messed up. Hold on, I have this problem with cameras all the time. Oh, God. Stop abusing your camera. If it was the camera's fault, you'd look gross, just as gross as that picture is, but you don't. You look fine, so I mean normal. Normal, you look normal. Just normal? It's gotta be the camera then. You haven't seen me in three years, so. Um, and, and that's all I get, it's just normal? Um, that's it, I'm going back to shaking it. Yeah, until you can get back to me with something more, um, I don't know, better than normal, then um, any form of complimentary adjective will be just fine. That'll do. Thanks. Okay. I mean, you don't have to, I guess. I mean, you know, only if you want to. <laughs> um, yeah. Look. I fought with that double printer for over 20 minutes. And just to get a picture to even print out, okay? Looking like this. So if you wanna call it gross, that's fine. I don't think it looks gross at all. In fact, yeah. I think it looks really great. I think it, it has its own, unique, special way about it. Ted is beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, why did you have to make this a thing? We're doing this really awkward thing now because of you. I'd point out that I never called you gross, just that jank ass picture you're holding, but then you'd go on some long rant about some metaphor, some shit, ultimately explaining how I'm wrong here. So can we please just skip to the point of the conversation where we talk about whatever important information you have to tell me. I am not the one making this awkward. I'm just fine. You're the one making this awkward by talking about how awkward it is. I just, I wanted to hear you say Ted is beautiful. But apparently that's asking a little too much. The metaphors need to stop, okay? The pirates are not a metaphor for life and you using my opinion of Ted as a metaphor for my opinion of you is terribly inaccurate, okay? Can we please steer this conversation towards work Again, before the history of us having dated for four years and then not seeing each other for three years comes crashing down onto us and we start rehashing old fights. Fine. That's fine. But I would just like to reiterate that uh, Ted took 45 minutes, 20 to 45 minutes getting ready for the Skype call, okay? And I think Ted looks pretty damn good as a result, so. Not my fault if you don't appreciate her. I mean, Ted, him, Ted, whatever. That's, that's just, that's, that's what people do. That's what people do to Ted. Just throw him away. Discard him like paper. <laughs> like paper. 
burger. Just keep in mind, sharks have feelings too. I mean, if you had a Ted, <laughs> no, you can't have a Ted. Mm -mm. Because I have a Ted. So you have a Ned, okay? I would say your Ned looks great. Yeah, I, I would, I would say that I like its haircut. I would see, see, see how I did that? How I addressed Ned's feelings? Who said that Ned wanted his feelings addressed, huh? Maybe Ned wants to live a feelingless life all on his own, filming his show without Ted bothering him. You know, Ned has a lot of work he has to do, okay? He's a busy shark. He literally can't stop moving to talk to Ted. He would die. Although he does appreciate the hair comment. You know you think the metaphors are cute. <laughs> Leslie? Like Leslie Fuck Bucket Gardner? The girl that smelled like hot dog water? Why are you talking about her? You hated her. <sighs> what? Who said anything about Leslie? I certainly didn't mention Leslie. I don't even know what you're talking about. How did Leslie come up? But I just heard you say Leslie. Clearly. Like three times in a row. You were doing like a little Leslie chant. I, I don't know. I think my mic is messing up. Ha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew you were lying. You always wrinkle your nose like that when you lie. Like um, I do not. There. Just like right there. Just then you just did it. Nose wrinkle to the second power. <laughs> Enough with the nose wrinklage, okay? What the hell did you need to tell me? Oh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, so Dr. Dylan evolved. He's all kinds of scary boonus now. What? See, I know you don't want to deal with this stuff, uh, all the Dr. Dylan stuff, but I know he's still out there and being a, a dildo. Um, so I thought I would spare you some of the PTSD and do a little digging on my own. Um, yeah, to see what he's been up to, right? And got lots of notes here. Um, apparently he's been evolving into literally anything that he wants, so long as it scares the white pants brown off of you. Um, let me spend this in a Harry Potter spin terms for you. Um, he's like a Bogart in Stephen King Batty. If they had a big old baby and named him Dr. Dillhole. A real life Bogart would be so much cooler if it weren't Dr. Dylan. How do you even figure all this out? How long have you been looking into this? Well, I started looking into him after he got the drop on you in jail. And I figured might as well flip it, right? You avoid personal issues like I avoid listening to Radiohead. <laughs> uh, so it was all sorts of dead ends at first. Like when you're driving around late at night and, and, and you're in rich neighborhoods and everything is, is all a dead end. Well, seriously, all those roads lead to nowhere. Like nothing. It's weird. That was until I found this series of articles. Um, they had all sorts of the same MO. Um, young girls getting the shit scared out of them uh, by their own fears, which from what you told me about Dylan in the four years we were together, not, not the three years that you spent uh, ignoring me, just to make that clear, you know, in case there was confusion. Just wanna see the sink. Yeah. 
Anyway, in case there was any confusion, it seemed to sync up with his methods, um, and then the video surfaced. So, look. You just, you need to be careful with this one, okay? Be careful, see? I know you'll want to run out and be a fucking superhero and watch this video and you're good at that. That's what you do. But then I realized as, as, I, as I started leaving that I have no idea where I'm going. She did not give me any really good directions. Um, and this Jippus thing that she's got in the car here that apparently tells you where to go and, and when to turn continues to tell me to go left. Which, you know, if you go four lefts, that's a, that's a complete circle or a square, depending. I, I, I just have no idea where I'm going. And I'm starting to get the feeling that she was just trying to get us all out of the house. Is my gun in my glove department? Ah! There's no gun in the glove department! Really?